Hey, I, uh, I'm going to tell you a story. This is my, it's my favorite time of year. I love October the most. Anybody else love October the fucking most of all? Hearts, demons, and stuff. Like, here's the thing. I grew up with a ton of religion, and so, like, it's still up in me, a, like, a little bit. Not much, like, but sometimes it really influences my life, and that's what I'm going to talk about here. Because I guess it was a trick or a treat. I'm going to need your, your input on this one, right? I'm gonna tell you about the time I changed an old lady's tire because I was pretty sure she was 100% a fucking demon, all right? 100%, right? you be the judge on this one, but I'm, I'm gonna give you all the evidence and I feel I fucking come down on my side on this one, all right? So here's the thing, I was living with, with, uh, with my girl all the time, we've been together about three, four years, thinking about marriage, whatever. I woke up, hung over, so I was like, uh, right, they'll be right back. So I went and walked to Sunoco to buy chewing tobacco with quarters. Yes! <laughs> and then he was like, oh. <laughs> it's a real, like, a bassy oh. <laughs> All right. It's fine. Anyway, so I was paying for chewing tobacco with good American currency, ma'am. <laughs> all right. No porn star near us, all right? It's an addiction. I had a headache. I had to get out of there, all right? I'm walking over there, all right? Not doing so hot. Walking in there. Walks to Noco. I'm going in the double door. This ancient, ancient Indiana Jones ancient lady is coming out at the same time. And she is not great with personal space. I'm coming out, she gets super close to me with her old breath and was like, I popped my tire! And I was like, what the fuck away from me? What? I'm all maroon pants? What is this? She's and like so old. So, so old! You know what I mean? If you stretch your arm out and you see what your elbow turns into, like the elbow skin part, it was like you put like 19 of those and made a face out of it. I'm not like being shitty about it. She's probably so cute, like when you would put a gramophone on when you went home, but it's fucking 2016, alright? I ignore it. I buy my chewing tobacco and fucking dimes and <laughs> walking out, I think about it. I'm like, I gotta go home. Alright, and then I'm walking out and then I look back and I see this old woman driving her Collie 1991 Ford Taurus and I make and she snaps eye contact with me and right then is when I was like, this is a fucking demon test for sure, right? <laughs> this is the part of the movie where either I change this tire <laughs> Or there's 90 more minutes of movie, and that lady's gonna jump into my fucking body. Or For sure, this is it. Or that's not even the worst case scenario. I live with my girl, and I love this girl. I loved her. Like, I, I knew if we got married, our, we're gonna have our fucking wedding dance to Neil Young, Harvest Moon. I had all these plans. <laughs> I was gonna fucking, I was, I was, we were gonna be married for a while, I was gonna wake up when it snowed one day before she went to work and scraped the ice off her car and I didn't fucking tell her about it. I had so many plans, love this girl, right? But here's the thing, and this is why I was vulnerable, this is why I had to change this fucking tire, because the demons are crafty. Worst case scenario, he doesn't jump into me, he jumps into her in the middle of the night, and then I gotta make the call of like, okay, this is for sure the devil, but I, I can't fight you, I don't know. Hey, because look, if I hit you right now, like you're a demon for sure right now, but if that demon leaves your body when the cops comes, I am fucked. Okay? <laughs> Nobody's believing that at Greater Fern. <laughs> <laughs> so I flagged this old lady down. I was like, oh, oh, pull it over here. Let's go. I'm not great with cars anyway. I was like, let's get this done. I can't risk it. Uh -oh. so I'm changing this old lady's tire and. And it's rain, it's like not good out, and I'm hungover, and I'm doing the best I can. Uh, and also doing this thing, anybody ever, like when you go to holidays and grandpa, you just lie to their face to make them feel good about your life? Like, Always. Right, fuck it. <laughs> Woo! I'm lying so hard to this lady. Like, I, got a, I got a job with healthcare, we're gonna have like four kids, I think, I can't wait, we're looking at houses, poor as shit the whole time, lying to her face. But I finished the tire up. 
And uh, I'm like, all right, uh, let you take off. And, <laughs> and she's like, oh, surely I have to pay you for your services. Hold on just a second. <laughs> and she pulls out her like adorable old lady nutsack purse. <laughs> pulls it out. That's what it looks like. And so like, she turns that and then, well, okay, demon evidence here, right? So she pulls out two singles and she fucking folds them, makes it look like four. That's a classic demon. <laughs> That is classic demon trick, Old Testament demon trick right there. I'm not gonna pull a trigger on two dollars, but four dollars, that's a fucking egg sandwich and a coffee. I might do that. I might take all you have, lady. I said no, it's fine, whatever. And then, uh, and she was like, Sean, I'll give you something. So she says, you want a Dunkin' Donuts rewards card? And I'm like, this might just be a crazy old lady. I might be reading this way wrong. So I skipped the whole thing. I'm like, I'll tell you what, I don't want anything. Just bring it on in for a hug. Come here, come here. I didn't wait for her to say yes. Yeah. She's like, <laughs> brought in and she did this with her old lady body she was like ah, ah, oh, no. <laughs> she arranged her hollow uh, bird bone body in a way that was like the strongest defensive scaffolding she's terrified and that's what I knew was fucking demon because they hate kindness and love <laughs> hate it. so she got in her car I felt safe, but I was like, oh yeah, change that the entire, and then so she got in her car, she drove away, made a left-hand turn, never saw her again, right? That's the official story. For sure, what actually happened, she went, made that left-hand turn, snapped her fucking neck in half, screamed, and drove into a portal. That's my fucking story!